my friends and welcome to my latest video. Given that we have finally gotten some rain and therefore some very pretty clouds out here, I've decided to do my video without you seeing my face and instead you get to look at the beautiful sky over my house. The upside to this is the fact that you won't have to see my face unless you want to see my face, in which case just close your eyes and listen to me talk. I can serenade you with the sweet, sultry sound of my voice. <laughs> nah, don't be stupid. You all know that you're just going to be sitting there looking at clouds, listening to me talk and thinking just how many times did I have to be dropped as a child in order to do something this stupid. I have decided that I believe the shipping pair for the Avengers between Thor and Captain America should thus be named Captain Hammer. I just, I think this should happen. I think we should make this happen. And by we, I mean Rose and I, because I highly doubt the rest of you even care. The clouds aren't out right now, so all you get is nice blue skies. Also, I've kind of realized something about people who like, make movies and stuff. They seem to have this weird obsession with mahogany. I mean, first of all, you have the Hunger Games and Elfie who's all like, that was mahogany. And then you have Kronk and the Emperor's New Groove when Yzma is like, knock down the door, Kronk, and he's like, I can't do that. It's hand-carved mahogany. And then in BB DBZ Abridged, you have, uh, what is the name? Lord Yami or something? I don't remember his name, but he has this desk and it's made of mahogany and like one of the one-liners from that entire like series that at least in my group of friends they always said was mahogany because he says it like 15 times in that episode. It's episode three in case you're wondering. But anyway, it's like why do they love mahogany so much? I mean, what about the other trees and such? What, what about oak? I mean, all it has is some stupid professor named after it. People need to spread the love from just mahogany. So I guess I should like tell you about my life or something, you know, what's been going on. Um, Monday was pretty nice. I mean, people saw what they shouldn't have seen and, you know, sadness. People do not see bad things. I just realized how bad that could have been taken. It was not bad. It was pretty okay. Um, Work is going pretty well. I mean, for some reason, they put me in charge of someone to train, and people ask me questions, even though it was my second week. And like next week, I don't like work at any time. Throughout the week, before one o'clock, except for on Saturday, day, they're like, what? You've got used to the sleep schedule? Screw that. You have to be there at six o'clock in the morning, and it's like, thank you. Thank you so much. I am sniffling, not because I'm sick, but just because I just had a really sad piece of bread. And it was, oh my goodness, it was just so sad. And there's only like four chapters left. And I just don't know how they're gonna bring it back. Cause oh my goodness, I was crying. It was, it was, oh my God. <laughs> it was just not good times. Um, yeah. <sighs> I finally got to see George, which was a plus. Um. We went out to Ross Hills, which is a park, and stargaze, and worried about creepers. Why are there so many cars going by my house? Um, uh, what, oh my gosh, what is it going with this? Um, yeah, we had dog and suds and played Never Have I Ever. It was pretty nice, uh, happiness. Um, we always made brownies, which were so delicious. Oh my goodness, I could just eat them from our face. Uh, um, yeah. Also, according to Jess, I am apparently a dirty unicorn with its horn partially or completely filed or broken off. I don't know. It was a little bit ins like insulting considering she was basically like, yeah, Millie, you're a slutty unicorn. It's like, thanks. I just realized that I spammed my own video by accidentally getting into it. I apologize. I did not mean to do that. I took Ted to the vet yesterday so that he could get his shots because, you know, he needs his shots. He's an old man. And, okay, first of all, I went alone, which is hard enough because he's 30 pounds and he can't, he doesn't have a leash and he doesn't have like a box that he goes in, so I just had to carry him. 30 pound cat, by yourself, hard. Okay, and then, you know, it, it was kind of bad because there were like five people in front of me, so I just had to sit there and hold him and he was like, Meow, I'm not happy, Meow. and he's just like, shut up, Ted, I'm not happy either. Okay, 
but it like he got in and he got his shots and then I had to like sign so I could pay because I had to pay for it stupid I don't know okay which was hard enough like holding him because like I had one leg propped up because he wanted to get away and I was holding him in place and it was just not fun times at all okay and then the frilling cat just decides you know what I'm unhappy so you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna poop all over down the front of you and it wasn't just like normal cat poop where it's kind of clumpy it was diarrhea and it was so embarrassing because there were other people in there and it was so gross and it was horrifying and i did not like it at all oh my goodness it was just really bad and i was just like oh my gosh why are you doing this to me why are you doing this and so like not only did i have to like clean it up but i had to take him home i was so angry at him i just like opened the door and i was like get out cat and like he was like i want to go inside and i was like no oh my goodness i'm needless to say i'm not a happy camper when it comes to ted it was uh, nah nah we, we are not on speaking terms right now oh my goodness no this is me telling you that the answers to miranda's questions will be down in the info box at the bottom of the video thing yeah well that's all for my video for today i hope you enjoyed my beautiful clouds and sky and such um i really wasn't even gonna do this part where like you actually see me but somebody like expressed displeasure of not seeing me for an entire video so they should be very happy that i like them so much because i'm totally doing this to appease them um yeah that's really all i have to say about that I hope that you have a beautiful weekend and that your week is full of rainbows and I will see you next Friday.